time for another set of knowledge video. This one's going to be talking about a feature in the Windows Live Essentials programs, which includes a set of programs such as Windows Live Family Safety, Skype, and Mail, and Windows Live Mail. But we're going to be talking specifically about Windows Live Family Safety. So if you've installed it, you go to Start All Programs, Windows Live, and you see Windows Live Family Safety right here. Okay, this error is saying this because there are two types of family safety you can have on your, your PC. You can have the Windows Live Family Safety, which requires the uh, the program to be downloaded. We can use the built-in Windows Live Family Safety, which is called uh, Parental Controls. Uh, this one, this, if you select no, it will still work. However, you have to have a local administrator account. But in today, in today's age, most people do things online. So I'm going to select Windows Live Family Safety as the provider. If Windows Live Family Safety lets you choose what your children see and who they talk to online, get reports of their online activity, set time limits, and game restrictions, and more. So make sure this is selected. So if I go back into the program, Windows Live, Windows Live Family Safety, and then it asks you to sign in. I'm running, I'm running this on Windows 7, but if you have a Windows 8 device, or you have an Xbox Live game tag, or you do anything with Xbox Live or Microsoft, you will generally have a Microsoft account. So just enter your username and password here. And if your PC does not have a use a user that you want to monitor, it will ask you to create here. If I create a standard Windows account, so call it uh, so my child, you know Tim, my child Tim, so create account. So as you can see, it's monitoring account. So click next. Uh, this here tells you who can actually alter the settings of this account so I want to be so we we select myself so settings and family safety okay this is saying that this the primary administrator account which is my account does not have a password so basically the person who the child who logs into this PC can change the settings at a whim so let me just add the password Change password. Okay, so go back into the go, go back into the program. Uh, okay, so you're done. So the other account is being monitored. This my my child Tim. So if we add or manage family members, uh, sorry, wrong one. If we want to change these settings, we log on to the website at familysafety.microsoft.com. Again, you will have to log in. So any accounts that you have under your particular remit, and you can have I don't know if it's limited, but you can have a few accounts here. So you click on your child, and you can see what they've been looking at. But because this account has not been activated yet, as in I've not run the account, uh, there's nothing here. But you can see what, how many times this person has visited the website. You can set restriction levels, so you can set a whitelist, so only certain, so on the websites you specify will be available to them. Designed for children, it's good for you know, young children. General interest. Online communication, so this will allow stuff like Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram. But all of these four will block adult sites, which is great for young children and even certain teenagers if you wanted. And I want an adult, which basically allows them to have 
free reign of what they're looking at. Um, but you will be monitoring the account and it won't Yeah, so yeah, and it warns you if, if they're looking at something which maybe they shouldn't. You can also block file downloads from the web. This means that exactly what it says, it blocks file downloads. So if they're one of these people who like to install various programs and just download things, j just click that and it stops them. Although I forked on the family safety, this is for children, this is for um, you know, kids. Not necessarily. I personally had um, a friend of mine whose PC was being affected by what he was doing. And I said to him, look, you don't really need these. I'm going to help you out here. Um, so I blocked file downloads from the web. And our PC worked for eight months before he asked me for the, to the pa for the password to unlock it. Given the password within two weeks, I had to go back there. So, it does work. Well, that was on a Windows Vista PC. So, and the setup is slightly different. So I will do a add-on video to the Vista site. Uh, coming on, time limits. You can set a curfew. So you can block access at certain times. So you can completely turn them off at 10 o'clock. Up to 10 o'clock they're not allowed to log in. The next time they're allowed to log in then is at 5. So they've only got 5 hours a day on the PC. And specified within these hours. Or you can give them actual allowance. So you can give them 5 hours on one day. And 7 hours on another. But it's up to them when they decide to take them. It is quite useful. Uh, you can also restrict applications, games, uh, downloads from particular phones if they've got phones associated with their accounts, emails to you. And that's pretty much it for the Windows 7 side. What I'm going to do, I'm going to log on to the My Child team and see how it affects from the child side. Of okay, so I am logged in to the My Child team account. And there are certain restrictions. Uh, so if I open up the web browser and yeah, if I okay, accept everything, and I go to uh, facebook.com, it will load Facebook. If I try to look at um, adult sites, like playboy.com it restricts it here and this is the message your parents might not want you to visit the site playboy.com family safety further sometimes gets confused a blocks a website which is really okay if you're not sure that this website would be okay with your parents don't visit it not sure if this website is okay go back continue if this website is okay visit page So, it allowed me into the website by giving me the warning. That was because I had set the family safety limits to warn only. And this is different from the last time I saw it. Wow. Okay, uh... Moving on. So if I go to... Something quick. Seven. Oh, bollocks. Okay, so if I go to download something with family safety enabled, it says family safety has blocked this download. To find out why this download is blocked, check your family safety settings. You need to access this. If you need to access this. To download, ask permission from the person who set up family safety. So it does stop downloads, which is great. 
and stops any child trying to download something and, and change them to PC. And not necessarily children, it could be for grandparents, which you, you know, you're not bothered about monitoring, but you don't want to download anything they shouldn't. This will be good for that. So this has been, as I said earlier, this has been a video for Sip of Knowledge. I hope you've learned something today. And if you have any queries, put them in the comment box and I will endeavour to answer them. Thank you very much.